So I'm really beginning to believe that some people are destined, they're destined to be scammed. So in this video, we're going to talk about my honest thoughts on IPC or intelligence prime capital. Some of y'all not gonna like this. All right, so let's take a look at the entry levels based on how we mark this chart up. The screenshot that we're... All right, so let me just preface this video, all right? So that you know what my agenda is. I'm T.L. Turner. I'm the creator of two separate training programs. People pay me thousands of dollars an hour for consultations for help with their trading. Um, I've been teaching people how to trade for the last almost three years. And I just want to get that out of the way. I've been involved with the market for close to five years. So that way you know where, where this information is coming from. I know it's common nowadays to hear criticism and call it hate. So we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna do that in this video. Keep an open mind to the information that I'm gonna share with you. And con consider the fact that the only truth is what you accept it to be. Now, if you're sticking around for me to say that yes, this is a scam, you can leave. The point of this video is that I do believe in the law of polarity. I do believe for every hot there is a cold. I do believe for every up there is a down. I do believe for every back there is a front. And so what that means in this regard is that while in any business opportunity there is the potential of success, there is also the potential of failure. And when I say failure, I'm not talking about the positive failure feedback loop okay I'm talking about something totally separate and so in this video my main thing is let's just, I just want to go over some logical things that I literally got sent this um, intelligence prime capital IPC like I said people pay me thousands of dollars an hour in some cases uh, to uh, to talk about their trading they pay me thousands of dollars to, te to teach them how to trade and so um, some of them look at me as their, their trading mentor. Some of them look at me as a pseudo, um, uh, financial advisor. So I get messages like this all the time. I'm in the know. And, um, where we are in this video. So I got about four minutes into the video. And if, if you watch any of the videos on my channel, then you might know that I typically have videos playing at one point five speed 1.75 speed so i like to get through information rather quickly now where i'm paused on this website is for a reason so where this website is paused is for a reason okay i want to read you guys this and this is going to this is going to set the tone for the video this is a promotional video you can search for the title it's not my video someone else's video yada 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 on this <laughs> person's video it says website let me get a let me get a, a different voice so you know that I'm not saying this this is what this person said that made this video website is registered until 2027 which typically never happens if they're planning to scam people it's usually less than a year who said that <laughs> who made this rule up okay anyway let's keep going also has protections against deleting the domain which most scam sites don't have who said that? Like, who is making, I need to, you're, you're saying things that we don't have evidence of. Just another thing to show evidence, they're not here for short term and scam people because to have this is literally pointless if you're planning to delete it anytime. Anyway, so they got this domain information up. And this is where I stopped the video and I'm like, I'm not watching this anymore. I know exactly what this is. I've seen it. Um... If you've been in business as long as I've been in business, then you'll see things like this happen all the time. And again, going back to what I originally said, there will be people that will earn money from this quote unquote business opportunity. No doubt. All right. Now, this screenshot says IPrimeCapital.com was recently registered. It was registered 
on 6-8-2021, less than a year old. It was recently updated 12-7-2021, so less than a month, uh, less than two months ago, it was recently, up, well, a little over two months ago. It expires on 6-8-2027. Now, that's, that's where they were trying to tell you, oh, well, because it's registered until 2027, it's not a scam. Now, let me show you something. I, I used to do, um, I like to call it, I used to host sell websites where I would go in and buy domains that I thought were popping and I would turn around and flip them. Okay. So you can call it flipping, flipping domains. All right. Now, this idea, because this is where you start to paint a picture where it, it's not even based on logic. They're using this to distract you. It's like a smoke screen. The website is registered until 2027, which typically never happens if they're planning to scam people. What's the difference between someone registering a website for a year and longer, right? So this was basically registered for six years. It's money, bro. Let's say I wanted to register the prime real estate brokerage, whatever, dot com. Now, GoDaddy is one of the, the sites that I would use for flipping domains. And here you go. Voila. I could buy the prime real estate brokerage dot com for my first year would be nine ninety nine. So ten bucks. And I would only get that if I agree to a two year registration. Now, I was already working on this video. So let me show you something in this. The only difference between someone doing a one year registration. Five years. Let's just go the big boy. Let's go ten years. Is that they paid more. That's it. Like, let's not let's not pretend that because they paid X dollars that it's not a scam like that. That's number one. All right. So just digest that because this is like somebody saying, well, um, the goal in the goal in the middle of the, the mall isn't a scam. They have like a million necklaces. What? That doesn't even make sense. They have a million necklaces because they were cheap okay so first point knocked out now i want to go to their actual website because this site here iprimecapital.com is literally the site you have to log in if you're a member yada 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 i don't have that so we're going to go to the intelligenceprimecapital.com intelligence prime capital this should get me to to do a voiceover intelligenceprimecapital.com the number one best trading bot based on artificial intelligence says who uh, so I want to get down into where, to me, if you're a logical person, there are a couple things on this site that stands out that you should really consider. Two of them are what we're going to address in this video. First thing, I'm going to skip all this. I'm skipping all this. I get it. I appreciate that they want to tell you all of this information, X, Y, Z. I want to get to the meat and potatoes because a lot of people, if you're interested in this opportunity, which opportunities like this typically come across the desks of people that are in kind of like hardship situations. All right. So I say that um, respectfully and I'm not putting anyone down. I'm just saying that chances are if you came across this opportunity, you might be in a hardship situation or you might be looking for a, a three foot of one. All right. Let's just call it what it is. Now, they give you various levels here. They give you level one, which if you're smart, you'll do that. If you're a genius, you'll do this. If you're brilliant, you'll do this. This is marketing. Okay. They tell you that you have a subscription fee here, 19 bucks. You'll get 15% a month, 99 bucks. You'll get 45% a month, 39 bucks. You'll get 30% a month. Now look at me. I'm a numbers girl. Why would I pay 99? Why would I pay a hundred bucks when I can get 60% for 80 bucks? It doesn't make sense. Okay. Boom. First part. Second part is let's really talk about this because obviously to the average person, a hundred dollars is doable, right? A hundred dollars seems like, okay, well, sheesh, if I'm making 45% a month, that sounds like a winner. Okay. Let me head over to my trusty dusty whiteboard and we're going to, we're just going to go down here because I was breaking this down for someone else. So couple things that they pointed out 45 percent ROI if you're not familiar with the term ROI that just means return on investment on their website they also talk about 
a 97% win rate. Now, we don't really have time to get into this part in the video. We don't have time. I would love to, but we don't have time. 97% win rate. It sounds really good and I get it, okay? What I really wanna focus you on is this, okay? Let's talk about this. 45%. Now, you're so brilliant that your mind did this math very quickly. You said, well, shoot, it, T, if I got $1,000, I'd be making a little under $500 if I paid them $100. I think that's a win. Like, I'm netting, I'm netting um, $400. Now, as you read down their website, you'll tell them, they'll also tell you that you have an 80 20 split on the profits. Okay? So that's another thing. I'm not going to take you too fast. However, I want I want you to know this. If you have a, a savings account, and I'm just going to Google this while I'm talking, average APR for savings account in America. Okay? I could have said, hey, Siri, what's the average APR? Ah, oh, man, I don't know if anybody else's phone has been doing this, but my phone is, I don't know, it's really been, keep asking, keeps asking if I'm a robot, and I'm like, you're the robot. Why do you keep asking me that? Uh, anyway, so the average APR for a savings account is zero. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm sorry. Get my heart. It's 0 0.6 annually. Annually. Okay. They're telling you that you have the potential to earn 540% annually. Now, I'm not a uh, MIT graduate. <laughs> I went to Auburn University for electrical engineering. I know that 540% per year is way better than this. Okay. Now, let me take it to something that you may be able to relate to. Let's say you have a credit card. Maybe you have American Express, Capital One. Maybe you got that Navy Federal Credit Union. Your APR, let's just say on average, I can I could ask Siri this as well. The average APR, let's just put it around 15%. If you got good credit, it might be lower. If you got not so good credit, it might be higher. 15% annually is what the average person could expect to pay on a credit card. Now, you mean to tell me that there is a business opportunity, air quotes, that will allow you to do 45% a month? That's almost 36 times what American Express is doing. What do they know that American Express doesn't know? American Express need to jump on this. American Express need to go ahead and pay their $100 a month and put their trillions and trillions of dollars into this. And they, I mean, they need to get their life changed. Like, think about this. They're telling you your monthly ROI is 45%. The average savings account in America offers you 0.06% annually. The average credit card, and this is something that I, I did make up, so this you might Google it and find it higher, you might find it lower. The average annual or APR for a credit card is 15%. This is telling you that your average rate of uh, return on your money, return on investment, is 540%. Now, I mean, we could do the math on this, but this is not even... So what I'm saying is this. If the banks haven't done this and I get it I mean I know traditional banking is not I'm not a, I'm not necessarily a, a advocate for traditional banking I'm not the, the go-to for traditional banking I do believe in alternate banking however the logic of this just just go with how lucrative this could be for a company right if a mayor, if an executive CEO at American Express saw this business, they was like, hey, we need to immediately put our funds over here and pay this hundred dollars a month and um and really get this system going because we could be doing way better than what we're doing. Thirty six times better what we're doing. Three times better than what we're doing in a year, we could do that in a month. Okay, so that's that's the part that 
it it literally is is it's in, impressive that we go to this links to 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 um avoid the the journey the journey of learning a new craft i'm gonna share a story with you real quick before we go to the the last point that i want to make about this when i was a little girl um my mom me my mom and my sister my my mom my sister and i <laughs> would go on uh, uh road trips to go see my grandmother my grandmother lived about mm, two hours away now, although I knew when I got to my grandmother's house, she might have some of those good old homemade biscuits and we might be able to stay up a little bit later and and eat candy or whatever. The journey of getting there was also memorable. The journey of making up songs in the car with my sister or stopping at Sonic and getting a Sonic Oreo Sonic Blast or counting license plates, calling out, that's my car in the back of the seat. That was also enjoyable. So for whatever reason, people want to skip the journey and get to the destination. And not that that doesn't happen. Uh, however, think about that. Okay, let's go back over to this. Because the last point that I want to show you is that this is literally a company. Okay? This is a business. This is no different from you putting in an application at Amazon or you putting in an application at Verizon, any of these companies. Why do I say that? They have an org chart. This is what we call an org chart. Okay? I used to be in management. This is an org chart. Do you see it? Leader, supervisor, senior manager, department manager, regional manager, managing director, shareholder director. This is an organizational chart. You know where they use these? In corporations. Understand. I'm not the person to say this is a scam, this is not a scam, that's a scam. This is just an MLM. If you don't know what an MLM, let me go back to my whiteboard. MLM just means multi-level marketing company. That's all this is, okay? Multi-level marketing. What does that mean? That means that if you bring on one person, you get paid X dollars. If you bring on three people, you get paid X dollars, and so on and so on. And if these three people bring on three people, you get paid off of that. S same thing, okay? So if you're not interested in being involved in a multi-level marketing company or a corporation, that was one of the whole reasons that I got into trading. Let me just say that. It's so that I could escape the corporate lifestyle, okay? So that I can be in control of my own financial future. And so to be involved with any sort of MLM, I don't care what it is, Herbalife, and keep in mind, there are some great MLMs. I'm not taken away from the fact that MLMs provide a great service for some people. Now, the studies show that 80 to 90 percent of people that are in MLMs don't make any money from them. That's not a T study. That's a public research. And you could do that. And there is a, a percentage of people that actually earn money from them. The whole basis of the company is it's based on recruitment. It's not based on the tools or the products. Unlike like a popular MLM, like a Herbalife. Herbalife has a great product. They have people that go and sell their product, but they also have people that use the product, right? And that can tell you and say, hey, this is a great product. I've been using it for this time. XYZ, XYZ. Sometimes, hey, just an observant, um, different, uh, an observant moment for from T. Sometimes the person that's recruiting you into the MLM doesn't necessarily have the body that you want. That's just an observation. Sometimes <laughs> the Herbalife person could maybe drink more Herbalife. And that's just that on that. So I said that to say that um, I'm not here to call this a definite scam, a not scam, a yes, no. I'm just letting you know to be just to be wise. And it's it's funny because this is very much marketing. And I love marketing. I love marketing. Intelligence, prime capital. Wow, these are powerful words. All in one. It just gives you that extra boost boost of confidence. 97% win rates. I would have loved to tap into that in this video. We just do not have the time. So the points that I made, going back to those, because I think it's important to just reiterate, having a domain register for X number of years doesn't make 
or break a, a company's legitimacy. It doesn't make your company more legit or less legit. You can get a year domain or you can get a 10 year domain. You can get a five year domain. Second thing is the monthly return is, is three times what you would earn in a year or what a credit card company would earn in a year off of you. Now we know that American Express is doing pretty well. We know Capital One is doing pretty well, especially if you're paying your credit card bills, right? And then just the final thing, my final thought is that literally it's just a multi-level marketing company. If you would like to be a part of a multi-level marketing company, because I, I would, I would go out on a, I would bet money that when you get in and when you join, that this is what the most topics of the conversations will be about bringing people on recruiting people and I'm all for um, if you have a product that you use and it works for you I'm all for recommending it now the, at the at the point where that becomes your focus like I, I bet you jump on a call with somebody and this is all they're talking about passive income residual income i gotta knock it off like this is literally like if someone told you hey uh you can pay me a hundred dollars and let me head back over to the white boy so i can make this final point the ugly truth is that um i think i have this stat somewhere let me just look up because i have this stat in my phone let me see business let me just see i know i i was taking notes on a couple of things and um essentially the average business let me see if i can find it anyway google it <laughs> google what the average business does in a year Let, let's just say the average business brings in which is not revenue of a hundred thousand i'm talking about us america let's say the average business earns a hundred thousand a year a average business at the end of the year is typically breaking even. So even though they their revenue was a hundred thousand, their expenses at the end of the year match their profits. So their balance sheet at the end of the year says zero. Now a business owner that's been in the game for three years, they're attempting to figure out how to say okay well I know my expenses are a hundred thousand and last year my revenue was a hundred thousand what would happen if I got my my revenue up to two hundred thousand but I kept my expenses at that okay so I would net a hundred thousand now this is a good deal <laughs> a lot of business owners would kill for this and not to mention, they say, oh, well, what if we cut this in half? What if I cut my expenses in half? Wow. Now you're cooking with fish grease. So for me, this is nothing different from if someone said, hey, T, um, I know you've been wanting to, to get some McDonald's franchises off the ground. You pay me $150 and I'm going to set you up with three locations a month and they're all going to be running autopilot. You don't have to do a thing. Would you do that? Would you do that? Would you believe that you didn't have to do a thing and you just pay one fifty a month? I I I would have prefaced this video and I believe that I did by saying that the truth is only what you agree, what you decide as truth. And so if you decide that this is possible, you're right. You're absolutely right. Uh, I just wanted to go over the facts and the information and the numbers because sometimes when numbers are thrown at us, we don't really process. We process the numbers so fast that we don't process the numbers. Okay. So appreciate you for watching this video. Drop your comments uh, down in the description, down low, down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Have you signed up for it? Are you interested in it? Are you now more interested in it? Are you now less interested in it? I want to hear from you guys. So. Leave me your feedback in the comments section below and until the next video, take care.